Which automobile, if you had to make a decision, would you pick? A vehicle powered by internal combustion or electricity? Your option would obviously be an electric vehicle, which regrettably not everyone can own due to its high cost. But fear not, I have wonderful news to share with you. We at the Top 10 channel have produced a list of the best cheap electric vehicles for you. You may make a better decision if you view the movie without the wrapping eyelid since you will be able to identify the model and performance of the automobiles. Now let's watch our video. The Bolt EUV, which made its debut in 2022, has the same platform and powertrain but has an additional 6 inches in length, more interior room, a little less range, and costs a little more. Chevy claims that despite how similar the two bolts appear, they do not share any external sheet metal. The EUV is the first Chevy to offer GM Super Cruise Driver Assist technology for hands-free driving on suitable roads, it's a $2,200 option and only available on the more costly Premier trim level. Interior style and amenities are identical. The EUV offers a dual-level charge lead and standard fast charging, just like the Bolt EV. The 2023 Leaf, a little four-door hatchback, debuted in the United States as a 2011 model and was among the first totally electric cars to be made widely accessible. It has expanded its range over time and included safety technology. It also has a longer-range brother, the Leaf Plus, which has a larger battery. The Leaf receives some modest design updates for 2023, and its portfolio is condensed to the shorter-range Leaf S and longer-range Leaf SV Plus models. The 40 kWh battery and underpowered 147 horsepower electric motor in the standard-range Leaf give it a range of 149 miles, according to Nissan. A standard 8-inch touchscreen with navigation, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto is included despite the interior's lack of frills. The MX-30, Mazda's first fully electric vehicle offered in the United States, initially went on sale in California in October. The carmaker indicated a countrywide rollout will take place over the following years. It is a hatchback that resembles an SUV and has a coupe-style roof, rear-hinged half-doors, and a simple interior. Inside, there are eco-friendly elements including recycled plastic bottle fibers for the door trim, animal-free upholstery, and cork in the center console. The front wheels are driven by an electric motor with 144 horsepower and 200 pounds-feet of torque that is powered by a 35.5 kilowatt-hour battery. All-wheel drive, AWD, is not an option. Even among cost-effective EVs like the Leaf and Bolts, a total range of just 100 miles is disappointing, but Mazda throws in a few extra benefits like a predetermined number of free loaner cars for road trips and $500 in charge point credits for public charging or for the installation of a Level 2 home charger. This four-door subcompact SUV is mostly comparable to the gasoline Kona in terms of design and internal layout, it is spacious up front but constrained in the back seat and luggage space. The Kona Electric boasts a 64 kilowatt hour battery, 201 horsepower electric motor that powers the front wheels, and DC fast charging technology that allows it to charge from 10% to 80% in as little as 47 minutes. For 2022, the Kona series was updated, and the Kona Electric received new wheels, interior improvements, a 10.25-inch touchscreen, a 10.25-inch instrument display, and a revised center console with wireless charging capability. The Cooper SE hardtop, two-door, four-seat hatchback that was formerly the cheapest EV in America, has been outpriced by a number of rivals. The Mini offers enough of miles for regular commuting use despite its relatively short range. The Cooper SE hardtop might entice buyers searching for a fun urban runabout or second vehicle with its sporty aesthetics and driving characteristics, 181 horsepower electric powertrain, excellent for 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.9 seconds, and tiny size. Despite its restrictive range, Mini claims that the 32.6 kWh battery can be fully charged using a level 2 home or public charger in around 4 hours using 7.4 kW of AC power.
Despite a significant price increase, the 2023 model is largely unchanged from the 2022, which received the same exterior, interior, technological, and multimedia updates as the standard mini hardtop and convertible models. The only real differences are some new exterior colors and interior upholstery options. The SE provides two additional trim levels in addition to the standard signature trim level and a number of personalization choices. The ID.4 is a compact SUV with reasonable interior space. Although the standard for EV ride quality is relatively low, it is also one of the more enjoyable and comfortable mainstream EVs to drive. City drivers will also like the 33.6-foot turning diameter, which is quite small. Although a portion of the interior's design includes touch-sensitive controls, we found them to be difficult to operate despite the interior's clean design and good quality. The minimum touchscreen size is 10, while the maximum is 12. There are 18.9 cubic feet of cargo space behind the back seat, which is more than the Ford Mustang Mach-E, but noticeably less than the Tesla Model Y, according to independent testing by Cars.com. The Nero EV from Kia is a member of a lineup of hatchbacks that are exclusively electric, along with hybrid and plug-in hybrid variations, all of which underwent a complete makeover for the 2023 model year. The 2023 Nero EV has the same platform as its forerunner and is expected to have a maximum range of 253 miles thanks to a 64.8 kWh battery pack, 201 horsepower engine, and standard front-wheel drive. Buyers should opt for the base Nero Wind, the loaded trim is the Wave, at the price stated above. With a battery pack size of 71.4 kWh for FWD models and 72.8 kWh for AWD variants, Toyota's BZ4X Sub provides a choice of single-motor FWD or dual-motor AWD powertrains. Depending on the configuration, range ranges from 222 to 252 miles, with the base FWD XLE having the highest rating. That might be a benefit for those trying to buy the BZ4X for the lowest price feasible because the least expensive model offers the greatest range. The BZ4X favors comfort above performance, FWD results in 201 horsepower, while adding a second motor and AWD just marginally increases the power number to 214 horsepower. Additionally, the BZ4X's charging capabilities fall short of those of certain rivals, which would make it better suited for use as a secondary commuting vehicle than, than a full-time family transporter. Similar to the Kia EV6 specifications is the Hyundai Ioniq 5. Kia and Hyundai are affiliated automakers. This includes the same selection of RWD or AWD and standard or long-range battery packs, despite the Ioniq 5's significantly lower range estimates and slightly higher price compared to the EV6. It has vehicle-to-load capability and can also employ 350 kW DC rapid charging. Hyundai boosted the AWD Ioniq 5's foot range for 2023 from 256 to 266 miles, up the most versions top towing weight from 1,650 to 2,300 pounds, and introduced a battery preconditioning option. The Subaru Solterra and the Toyota BZ4X both use the same platform, and the Subaru Solterra's primary selling point is its standard AWD. The Solterra's maximum range is estimated to be 228 miles, and it is powered by the same dual-motor system as the BZ4X, utilizing a 72.8 kWh battery pack. Another intriguing difference is that the Solterra has slightly more horsepower and torque than the BZ4X, 215 horsepower instead of 214 and 249 pounds-feet of torque instead of 248. It's important to know that as of the time of writing, stock sale orders are in effect for both the BZ4X and Solterra. Early iterations of the Solterra and BZ4X both experienced what is simply known as a wheel falling off issue, which ultimately resulted in a stock sale order, although the two makers appear to have now discovered a solution. One more video has come to a close. Remember to like videos to help us out. You can mention in the comments the automobile model you like.